Hello and welcome to Kim's Cozy Corner. I'm Kim and I, um, I gotta change some things up y'all. In one of my last videos, I talked about how I like to support my potatoes. And I have a video showing me putting the supports in all of my pots and my grow bags and this raised bed right here. And y'all, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. I'm all about symmetry and things looking nice together. And this doesn't look good to me. I have some of these that won't stand up. And I believe this is just because the soil is just so loose and the bed is so deep. This style just doesn't work in this bed for me. So I have bought some wire mesh that we're going to install today. So the tools that I'll be using today are just some wooden stakes, which I have right here, and my measuring tape and something to cut the wood with, and of course the wire mesh. But I gotta clean this up, y'all. It's about to be too late. These potatoes are already a good, in some places, almost 10 to 12 inches above the soil, above the ground, and it's getting to be a little late. So I'm just gonna get to it. I thought I'd bring you with me. I'm just out messing around in the garden again, and this is what I'm working on today. So one of the first things I gotta do is get this out. And since I'm getting these out, that means I got more room to put more potatoes in pots and grow bags. Y'all, I like to make space for more food. Now, I do want to stress that I still love this support system in all of my container, in my pots and my grow bags. I love it. I've been using it for years. Had a couple of people say, that, oh, you don't need to do that, right? You don't have to do it. This is just what I like to do. And I will continue to put this style in all of my pots and my grow bags. So if you're interested in this particular product, I will keep the link in the description below for this if you're interested in it. And it doesn't have to be just for potatoes. You can use it on your peppers and your tomatoes and okra if your okra needs to be supported, but I don't think you need to really support okra. Um, but anything that needs support, these little support systems are nice. Another really nice support system that you could use are the Mighty Crop. Um, trellising system. Here's a picture of that and I'll make sure I put that in the link below as well. And I use the Mighty Crop on my tomatoes that I don't have um, with my um, cattle panel trellis. So the Mighty Crop I have used on potatoes before. So that might be an option if you're interested. All right, I have all of that trellising out or that support system out and now I'm ready to put my wooden stakes in. To do this, all I need to do now y'all know I've already done some prep work to make sure that this part's gonna work, at least with the wooden stakes anyway. But I put my stakes in and I want my trellising system to be about 16 inches above the soil. So I measure it to about 16 inches above the soil. We're gonna mark it. And then we're gonna just cut it, if I remember where I marked it. Now, y'all, I just marked this. Oh, there it is. All right, and I'm just using, I don't know what you call these things. I use them all the time to cut like tree limbs and trigs and stuff. Loppers, they're called loppers. Now, y'all, these loppers, I call toenail clippers. But I'm gonna use my loppers because this wood is super soft. I'm gonna put it right in where I want it. And it just, and there it is. There's my piece right there. So I didn't need a big saw or anything crazy like that. I've just lopped it right off. And now I'm gonna need one more. I'm thinking about right here. The wire mesh that I purchased is two feet wide. This is a six foot bed. And so I'm gonna do three short strips 
of the wire mesh because some of the potatoes are going to be ready and others aren't. So I don't want to have to remove the whole mesh every time. So we're going to have three two foot sections. So let me get this second one cut and actually let me cut them all and then I'll bring you back. All right, I have all eight of my steaks in, and now we're gonna go cut this wire mesh. All right, so for the wire mesh, I bought welded wire. It's 24 inches, and it's a two by three inch mesh. Nothing special, I just went to, what is it, Tractor Supply, and purchased this wire mesh right here. Nothing special about it. Two by three inch mesh. That's how big the opening is on this. And yeah, it says it's good for privacy or property enclosures. And it's upscale green vinyl fencing blend. So it's gonna blend in, which is great. Um, nothing special about it, but I've already decided that I want it to be, my bed is about three and a half feet wide. So we're going to cut this to 44 inches, just under four feet. A little more than three and a half, but under four. I need to cut right here. And these are <laughs> way overkill for what I'm cutting. I use this to cut cattle panel trellis. It's not needed for this, but it's the tool that I have. So. I'm gonna cut three pieces just like this, and then I'll bring it back. All right, I have all, I have all three pieces cut. I'm gonna start with, let's start with the center. If I can make this work. Um, the way I plan on doing this, we'll see how it works, is to just use my stapler and staple the mesh right to my little wooden stakes. That's the plan anyway. So let me get this side stapled and then we'll go do the other side. What do you think? You think it's gonna work? Let's try it. And if it don't work, y'all know I'm gonna tell you the truth if it didn't work. I share everything with you, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay, I'm on the back side. Let's see, let's see if this is gonna work. Oh, I started with the middle, so let's start with the middle again. Way too much, but that's fine. We will bend it down the back side here. I prefer to have too much than not enough. That was my thought process anyway. Can I go one more? Yeah, one more. You may not be able to tell, but this is much neater than what we were doing. Nice, it's rounded. Some of these plants are gonna get really, really tall and I like it. It's really, really nice. I really like this setup. So now that I've properly supported all of my potatoes, we don't need to do anything else for our potatoes until they get ready to die back. So the rest of this season, you'll be watching me watering the potatoes and showing you um, how to keep the watering nice and even. That's it for an update to my plant supports for my potatoes until next time and I hope there will be a next time that you come back to Kim's Cozy Corner because I got all kinds of projects happening around here. Bye!